And now we see the Delta variant. And again, very rapidly, that is outcompeting the other variants, including even the Alpha variant. So it is now at a level where it's much, much more contagious uh, than it's ever uh, been before. And unless we can shut this pandemic down, it's possible that this virus is going to continue to become even more contagious and be even more of a problem. Um, I, I mean, I think the simple answer is yes, to be frank, um, not to intentionally go against what the CDC said. They're obviously trying to draw a line um, in the sand as to a degree of severity that you see within your local area. Um, but I, but I think what we will see is, like we said earlier, there's a, that we, we expect this incline to be rising. And I think if you look at your county today, so for example, for us to look at Durham County, we are just outside that highest risk transmission area, but, but one step below it. I think people need to be highly aware of the fact that this is changing and a little deteriorated over the last few weeks. And if you're in a county that has not yet reached that threshold, there's a, there's a fair chance that you, you may in fact cross that threshold fairly soon. So I think that the implications for, for, for health departments and for state health departments are pretty clear here. You, they have to, at least if they're not going to put in sort of statewide commentary, uh, keep very visible view on how their county is performing. Because even as I said, if you if you if you're not in that high or extreme risk category according to the CDC now, um, you may well be uh, within the next week. That's the kind of acceleration that I think that we've seen. So practically, is it easier to sometimes apply that in a broader brush? I, I think it is. I think that certainly takes away the pressure for individual counties and individual patients to look at their own risk and sort of try and judge how it's uh, how how it impacts them. Um, I have certainly got to the point with all of my patients to not worry about which county they are from. I can give them individual advice as to how immunosuppressed or how vaccine responsive they may be. But at the end of the day, sometimes it's easy just to say, look, we're in a very fluid situation here where rates are increasing. So a mask is a very simple thing that we have learned how to do well over the previous 12 months. And going back to that and adapting as the virus has adapted is, is, is actually a pretty standard thing that we should be able to do. So yes, I'd be in favor of broadening it uh, as wide as we can. 